Welcome! In this bungalow design package, we will explore valuable insights and understand each scope of work. This package is ideal for clients who have purchased land and want to build homes. It includes a detailed analysis of their needs and site conditions, developing a design concept with client input, massing studies to visualize the form of the home, and providing them with a final floor plan for the house. Here is the scope of work of the Bungalow Design Planning Package with a sample project. Scope of Work Index This slide serves as a helpful navigation tool, providing clickable links to various pages within the presentation. It ensures easy access to specific information for both you and your clients. Number 1. Professional Introduction This slide is crucial for establishing your credibility and expertise. It introduces you the designer, highlighting your designation and experience. By sharing your background, you build trust and confidence with your clients. Number 2. Requirement This section outlines the specific needs, preferences, and expectations of your client regarding the services you provide. By clearly understanding their vision and goals for the project, you can tailor your design approach accordingly. Number 3. Site Analysis In this slide, you assess the physical features, climate, axis, circulation, and surroundings of the site. It helps you to understand the land's unique characteristics to inform the design process effectively and ensure that your design is functional, aesthetically pleasing, and harmonious with its environment. Number 4. Area Program In this slide you will outline the specific functions and spatial requirements for a building or project. It will define the needed rooms and spaces as well as their approximate sizes and distribution. It serves as a guide for you during the design process. Number 5. Form and Volume In this slide, form refers to the shape and overall composition of a building, while volume refers to the three-dimensional mass and occupied space. As an architect, you will consider these elements to create visually appealing designs and maximize the functional use of space. By carefully shaping and organizing the form and volume, we can achieve a harmonious and visually pleasing interior that optimizes the available space. Number 6. Massing Massing in architecture is about how the different volumes of a building are arranged and composed. As an architect, you will consider the size, shape, and relationships between architectural elements to create a cohesive design. By studying massing, we can explore design options and ensure that your interior integrates seamlessly with the surrounding environment, resulting in a visually pleasing and harmonious space. Number 7. Orientation Orientation in architecture refers to how a building is positioned in relation to its surroundings and the cardinal directions. As an architect, you consider the deliberate placement of your building to optimize factors like sunlight, views, prevailing winds, and climate. By strategically orienting your space, we can enhance its functionality, minimize energy consumption, and create a comfortable environment that takes full advantage of natural elements. Number 8. Public and Private Spaces As an architect, you need to explain the significance of public and private spaces in the design of your project. Public spaces in architecture are accessible areas like parks and plazas designed for social interaction and community activities. Private spaces, such as homes and offices, are restricted areas tailored to individual needs, offering privacy and control over the environment. Public spaces promote community engagement, while private spaces prioritize personal activities and confidentiality. The distinction helps define the use and dynamics of a built environment, accommodating diverse needs. Number 9. Zoning Zoning in residence architecture involves dividing a residential building into different areas for specific functions. It optimizes the functionality and comfort of a home by creating zones such as public areas for guests and private areas for residents. Number 10. Rough Layout of Bungalow the rough layout of a bungalow in architecture refers to an initial design sketch that shows the basic arrangement of rooms, circulation, 
and key features of a bungalow-style house. This rough layout serves as a starting point for further development and refinement of the design. As architects, we use this layout as a foundation to create a functional and aesthetically pleasing interior that aligns with your preferences and needs. Number 11. Conceptual Sketches 3D Reference Conceptual sketches and 3D references are visual representations used in the early stages of the design process. They help you explore and communicate design ideas, concepts, and spatial relationships. These sketches and references allow you to convey your vision and initial design thinking to you, your clients, collaborators, or yourselves. They serve as a valuable tool for visualizing and discussing design possibilities before moving forward with the actual implementation. Number 12. Site Development Plan A site development plan in architecture is a comprehensive document that outlines the layout and organization of a building or development project within its site. It considers factors like topography, access points, utilities, landscaping, and environmental considerations. The purpose of a site development plan is to ensure that the design is seamlessly integrated with the site functional, and compliant with regulations. As architects, we use this plan to create a space that harmonizes with the surroundings, optimizes functionality, and meets your specific needs and requirements. Number 13. Floor Plans Floor plans in architecture are graphical representations of a building's layout. They show the arrangement of rooms, walls, doors, and windows from a top-down perspective. Floor plans provide a visual understanding of the spatial organization and flow within a structure. Number 14. Material Palette Exterior A material palette for the exterior in architecture refers to the selection and combination of materials used to finish the building's exterior surfaces. It includes materials, textures, colors, and finishes that create a cohesive and visually pleasing appearance. The material palette plays a crucial role in defining the architectural style, character, and overall visual impact of the structure. As architects, we consider the material palette to ensure that the exterior complements the interior design and creates a harmonious and appealing aesthetic for your house. Number 15. Block Estimate This section is where we provide our clients with an estimate of the project's cost, based on the agreed-upon design and furniture selections. C-Tree has a design block estimate for your convenience, which helps you to input all data in a quick and easy way. You can download the block estimate template from your dashboard. Thank you for watching our tutorial video on Bungalow Design Planning Package. I hope you have understood its scope of work and its deliverables. You can download the template below the video link for your record. Thank you. Sapka Mangal Ho.